We're gonna go over five stretches you need to be doing if you have Ajit Slaughters. What's good, Hoopers? My name is Dr. Marco Lopez. I'm a doctor of physical therapy, certified strength and conditioning specialist, and co-founder of The Basketball Doctors, alongside with Dr. Gabe Ignacio. Our mission for The Basketball Doctors is to provide evidence-based information regarding all things basketball. And this is not medical advice, it's only educational purposes. So if you need medical advice, seek out a healthcare professional, or send us a DM, or jump on a free discovery call so you can see how we can help you. But let's jump into our topic on the top five stretches you need to be doing for Osgood Slaughters. All right, guys, before we go into the top five stretches for Osgood Slaughters, we're gonna go over what Osgood Slaughters is. And if you wanna learn more about it, click the link above. It's gonna go into all things Osgood Slaughters. But it's a growth of apophysitis, meaning this bone is growing faster than the muscles and the tendons. So what happens is as you're growing and you're using a lot of that quad muscle that's gonna be pulling here on that quad tendon, which is pulls on the kneecap, which pulls on the patellar tendon, and that might lead to that issue where this tibial tuberosity is growing up. So you're gonna have that bump and it's gonna be pulling there, causing that pain. So what we have to do is, as we mentioned, the quad muscle is huge in there because the quad, in the majority of the time that we see it, it's super tight and it's being used over excessively. That's gonna cause a pull here on that quad tendon, which is gonna pull on that kneecap, which is gonna pull on that patellar tendon. And that sometimes when that pulls too much over time, it's gonna lead to an avulsion fracture. So what we have to do is we have to stretch out the anterior muscles here, the big quad and the rectus femoris muscle. So loosening up this muscle is gonna decrease the stress here and decrease the pull here on the tibial tuberosity. Biggest thing is we don't wanna be strengthening the quad muscles early on, we actually wanna be stretching them out. So early rehab, I usually tell people, don't do anything, you know, stay in bed, rest completely. We tell people you still have to be stretching out and strengthening the other muscles around, strengthening the posterior muscles, stretching out the anterior muscles. So the anterior muscles, the big one is the rectus femoris, and that goes from the hip all the way down to the kneecap. And that's a big contributor to that pain here because it pulls from the hip all the way here. So we have to be stretching out the quad rectus femoris muscles and also the hip flexor muscles because the hip flexor muscles are just gonna cause that anterior stress because of that tension pulling in there. Other muscles that we have to also stretch out are the hamstring muscles and also the calf muscles. So we're gonna go over the big five stretches and explain how to do them in these next couple videos. All right, this stretch stretches out our rectus femoris, a quadricep muscle that crosses the knee and the hip joint. So we're gonna be stretching the bottom leg here. We're gonna bring our top leg towards our chest to lock out our spine and pull our leg, bottom leg towards our butt to get a good stretch in our hip flexor and quad. This next stretch here focuses on our single joint hip flexors, also known as our iliopsoas muscle group. So we're gonna find a surface that's high enough so that our leg can hang and relax. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring our right leg, our reference leg here to bring it up towards our chest to lock out our spine and protect our back. And then we're gonna let the left leg, the stretching leg down and let it hang. And as you do this, you really wanna tighten up your core to protect your back as well and just relax and let gravity do its work. This dynamic stretch is focusing on a calf muscle that crosses the knee and the ankle joint, also known as the gastrocnemius. What we're gonna do is we're gonna keep the heel down, knee straight as possible, towel underneath the toes to get a deeper stretch, keep the hips facing straight forward, and your step forward and backwards, holding at the top for about two, three seconds. Our right leg is our stretching leg here. This nerve glide can feel like a hamstring stretch, but you're actually trying to get this tibial nerve to actually start gliding throughout your lower body. The tibial nerve runs from your glutes all the way down to your foot and ankle. And the way you're gonna perform this is that as you strain your knee, you're gonna point your toe away. And as you bend, you're gonna point it towards your head. You should feel a mild to moderate stretch either through your hamstring, back of the knee, or into the calf. This final stretch is similar to the calf stretch that we did earlier. But now we're focusing on the calf muscle that doesn't cross the knee joint, so the soleus muscle. So the way we're going to bias this one is we're going to keep our knee bent and similar to before, we're going to keep the heel down, towel underneath our toes, keep our hips facing straight forward, and you're going to move forward and back, holding at the end for about two, three seconds. Hopefully you found these top five stretches to be helpful for your Osgood Slaughters. If you liked our video, please hit the like button, subscribe, and share with all your friends and family. We are the Basketball Doctors. Let's ball for life.